Good morning, my friends. It's Monday, May 1st, and I'm here with you with the rising of the sun. I do have a cat, Pistachio, over here who is waiting to go out, but it's a little early yet. I know, I know, yep. And I also have with me this morning um, this incredible sculpture of a, an angel that I found. This is from the church in Zweifelten, which is in Germany. It is a counter-reformation church. So after Luther, this is the what would become the Roman Catholic Church, uh, designing architecture that defends the, um, the Roman Catholic faith. This angel is um, sculpted outside of a confessional, and the angel is bidding us to silence. The angel of silence saying, shh, think before you speak. Listen to the profound sound of silence. We move this week into a new book in what's called the Apocrypha. The Apocrypha are books that the Orthodox faiths, Anglican, Orthodox, Roman Catholic, still have as part of the canon of scripture, but the Protestants have taken them out because they're older texts. This one dates from the first century BC. So it's getting very close to the time of Jesus and it was written in Greek this text is called the Wisdom of Solomon, or many people call it Wisdom. And this text is a series of profound sayings that Solomon would have said, which is a wonderful thing. And in particular today, Solomon is talking about the mouth, just like our angel was saying, shh. Here are the words we hear today from the Book of Wisdom. It says, beware then of useless grumbling and keep your tongue from slander because no secret word is without result, and a lying mouth destroys the soul. The words that come out of your mouth impact your soul. And what are you saying? I know sometimes I like to just process and say all this stuff, and it's not good. Better to think before speaking. Better to hold precious things in your heart to think about who you are speaking to. As Jesus said, don't throw your pearls before swine. Be cautious with the words that, that exit your mouth. Are they words of love and care? Slander and gossip and lying hurt not only others, but hurt you. They hurt your soul. So be careful of the words that come out of your mouth, for God has given us our mouths to speak words of wisdom and love, to edify, but not to tear down. And what comes out of the mouth impacts our spiritual lives. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We thank you that you give us mouths to speak thoughts that can be conveyed to others, language that is so profound and incredible. But we ask that you would help us to be wise and conscious with the words that exit our mouths, that we may be thoughtful, loving, purposeful, truthful, and kind. That the words that come out of our mouth would be words that come close to what you would ask of us. Your words, Lord. We ask you to bless the sick today, to bless those who mourn, the hungry, those who struggle with addiction or mental illness, the incarcerated, the homeless. We ask you to bring peace to this world, to Sudan, Ukraine, and all other areas of the world torn apart by violence and strife. We ask that you would guide us today to do your work in this world, that we may be agents of your wisdom, of your peace, 
and that you would give us a reverence of and awe for this beautiful world that you have made. That we may care for it, revere it, and honor it. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your Son, who spoke the words of eternal life. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.